Stop shoving. It's the last time I get in a shelter with enlisted men. Attention! What are you men doing here? Why weren't you in the shelter during the air raid? Uh, 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 uh. Hey, well, what, uh, what air raid was that, sir? Oh, 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 you mean washing machine Charlie. <laughs> well, we didn't want to miss you, sir. We'll, we'll be pulling out of 1,300 hours, so we want to make sure we picked up our leave papers. Oh, you did, Hal. It just so happens that your leave has been canceled. Our leave's been what, sir? Our leave's been what, sir? Oh, you brought little Sereco with you, I see. You heard me, both of you. Your leave has been canceled, finished, kaput. You can't do this to my men. My men deserve leave, and you know it, sir. McHale, if those pirates of yours got what they deserve, they would be on permanent leave from this command in Alcatraz. Oh, uh, you don't mean Alcatraz, sir. That's for civilians. A uh, Portsmouth is a naval prison, and Leavenworth is the army prison. I would advise you to have him shut up. <laughs> now, as I was saying, Admiral Reynolds has canceled all leaves until we locate and destroy the enemy menace to Taratupa. Washing machine, Charlie. Washing machine? Oh, come on now, Captain. This guy has come over every single day for a solid month and dropped one lousy bomb and never hit one thing. Now, if he's a menace, I'm a ring-tailed goony bird. Well, you just laid an egg, ring-tail. <laughs> Admiral thinks he's enough of a menace to have you fly up to Comfleet immediately for a conference. Well, why me, sir? Oh, the Admiral seems to think that you know enough about these islands to be able to locate where the enemy landing strip is. Now, why he should think that, I don't know. Unless he believes that this nip is taking off from some jungle saloon. <laughs> Keep that in mind, sir. See that you do. Well, if we find him, then can we have our leave, sir? Well, decide that when we come to it. Boy, the men sure are going to be disappointed. How are they, Charlie? Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll have the chaplain stop by and punch their tickets. Well, I think that'd help, sir. What? <laughs> sir. I gave that chief 50 bucks in salvage for this item. Gentlemen, behold, the piece of resistance. One genuine wingtip from one genuine Japanese zero should bring in 200 genuine Somalians when we hit New Caledonia. Hey, 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 wait, wait, wait a minute. Are you kidding? The guys on a convoy want things they can use as gifts, like a carry carry knife. Something they can bring home to their draft board. Yeah, yeah, what good's that wingtip? Little critical, huh? Watch this. You ever see a better beer bottle opener? All right, on second thought, we can't let this thing go for a penny less than two and a quarter. The hell oh, with you! Yeah. Yeah. Hey, huh? fellas, what a leave this is going to be, huh? Wine, women, and wowee! Ah, <laughs> uh, just remember, it's business before wowee! We got three days to hit New Caledonia, make a killing, peddle all off all this stuff, or else we're stuck with all this junk. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we're ready to go! Here we come. Hold it, hold it. You're not going anywhere. Not for the time being, anyway. Our leaves have been postponed. Postponed? Oh, Lord, what's what's this guy? How do you get out of this chicken outfit? Now, simmer <laughs> down, young man. Just simmer down. This is only until we put washing machine Charlie through the ringer. How are we supposed to do that? It could take weeks. And the convoy pulls out of Caledonia in three days. Our whole bank rolls invested in these souvenirs. We're going to blow it all. I feel a nervous breakdown coming on. <laughs> Chuck, after you take me to the mainland, you take the 73 and go out looking for that nip landing strip. You hear? Right, Chief. I'm way ahead of you, though, Skip. You go over these islands with a fine tooth comb.
He must have checked out a dozen crummy islands. And not a sign of that landing strip. Well, we can just kiss our leaves goodbye. And our money. Washing machine Charlie, right on the button. Uh, there's the thing that started all our troubles. <laughs> I could just get him in my sights once. Hey, Verge, you got a thought there. It's worth a try. Come on! Hey, I'm way ahead of you. Just when I had a beat on him, he dropped behind those trees. Got away. Pretty clever flying, if you ask me. That's all my fault. I had it right in my sights. All I had to do was knock him down, and we'd be on our way to New Caledonia. That's right. All you had to do was get him in your sights and... Hey! How do you know you didn't? Did I? What do you mean by that? Hey, what are you hey, talking what about? You get an idea? Oh, at ease, peasants. Start unpacking your dress skibbies and dust off them souvenirs. Old Groove has got himself an idea. An hey, idea? Let's go around. Around. Parker, I want you to explain the meaning of this message that you radioed to me on your way home from patrol this afternoon. Sighted nothing, sank same. <laughs> well, you see, sir, the key to naval communication is brevity. See how short I Did you ever break radio silence again to send me a thing like this? I'm going to transfer you to the hospital in charge of a bedpan. That's where? Yes, sir, bedpan. Come in! I did not, sir. Well, <laughs> Peter, man, first class, Lester Gruber reporting, sir. We thought this should be the first one to know. First one to know why, 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 why? We just shot down washing machine Charlie. You did? When, where, how? I'll ask the questions here, Ensign. When, where, how? I mean, <laughs> did you expect me to believe a wild-eyed story like that? Well, to tell you the truth, sir, we didn't. So we brought along the proof. Hey! All right, men, bring him in. <laughs> Captain Dinkleton, may I present Washing Machine Charlie. At least all that's left of him. Boy, wait till Fleet Comp finds out that my men shot down old Wash. That is, Ensign. Oh, wait till I tell the Admiral that the men of my command knocked out Washing Machine Charlie. <laughs> well, Mikhail, that indispensable man, was trying to find out where he was hiding. <laughs> this is a beautiful moment. Beautiful enough to okay our leave, sir? Be my pleasure, Lester. Hey, did you hear that? You guys are going to New Caledonia. Three cheers for Captain Binghamton. Hip, hip. All right, knock it off before I change my mind. Now get out of here. Well, I have one hip left, sir. Get out of here. Well, you got a head left. <laughs> All right, step lively, man. Just a minute, Grover. Just a minute. Where are you going with this thing? Back to McHale's Island, sir. Spoils of war, you know. Oh, no, you don't, Grover. I've got a spot picked out for this on my wall. Oh, but you can't, sir. We paid 50, uh, we, it cost us 50 rounds of ammunition for this, sir, and we have first choice. I'm gonna give you a choice, Gruber. You got a choice of giving me this wingtip, or you got a choice of going to the brig for 30 days for insubordination. No second thought, sir, it makes a lousy beer opener. I could just scream. <laughs> Thank you, Godson. Hey, Boots, how are you? Hey, Skip, boys, you missed you. Hiya, gang. Hey, you sure did a good job while I was gone, huh? I guess you already heard about the kill, huh, Skip? Heard about it? That's all Admiral Reynolds could talk about up there at Fleet Com. <laughs> Come on, you can fill me in over a cold beer. <laughs> Boy, hey, Skip, really... too bad you missed all the excitement. We got him right where it hurts. Cut the propeller to splinters! Ah, oh, good boy, I'm proud of you. <laughs> yeah, great shot. Boy. Hi, I guess... Skip, guess you know all about it, eh? Yeah, yeah, you really hit him where it hurt, huh? You can say that again. <laughs> Direct hit on a fuel tank. <laughs> Samurai swords. Seven check. Four helmets with the rising sun emblems on them. Hiya, fellas. Hiya, Skip. Hiya, Skip. Ready to shove off a new Caledonia? As soon as I get a beer, hey, you guys did a great job yesterday. Yeah, we really clobbered Charlie for keeps. Boom, boom. Knocked off his whole tail section. <laughs> tail section? Yeah. Well, Virgil told me you got him in a, in a propeller. Tinker says you got him in a fuel tank. Hey, Chuck. Just exactly where did you get him? Oh, uh, well, the story I got was that... Uh... Well, to tell the truth, Skip, here's what did happen. You see, one of the shots did hit the propeller. 
causing the tail section of a fuel tank to explode. I'm not buying. <laughs> All right, Chuck, out with it. What really happened? Well, I, I'm not sure. I was with Captain Binghamton at the time, but he's absolutely right, no doubt about it. They even brought over a piece of the net plane. Oh. Oh, they even brought over a piece of the plane. I don't suppose it happened to be, um... Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was it, Skip. Mm -hmm. Well, Skip, we really better hurry. Yeah. Uh, say, a wingtip about, uh, oh, yay high and about yay wide, and it had a uh, 50 caliber slug in it. A slug hole big enough to, uh, say, um, open a bottle of beer. Well, yeah, I guess you could if you wanted to. Hey, how'd you know? <laughs> well, let's just say that I'm, uh, psychic. Is that right, Groot? Uh, well, excuse, excuse us. We, we've got a pack of sweat socks. Huh? Oh, right. Come on, line up on me. All of you. All right, you eight balls. Now, let's stop this snow job and get down to the facts. I want the truth and nothing but the truth. So stop horsing. Come on, now. Well, Skipper, we had to fake it. You mean they didn't shoot down washing machine, Charlie? Oh, and I even wrote a letter to my mother. Oh, Chuck. Hey, Skipper, condition red. Captain Binghamton at the dock. Well, now, isn't that just dandy? Well, what are you going to say? He's going to kill us. Hold it, hold it. Now, button up, all of you. I'll do the talking. Just stay buttoned up. Now, come on. Groot, will you get us? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> welcome aboard, he says. Oh, and you've got Mr. Parker with you, don't you? Y'all packed, Mr. Parker? Uh, yes, sir. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Save you a lot of time, you know. Because they're expecting you all down at the brig in a half an hour. The brig, sir? Is anything wrong, sir? Anything wrong, sir. <laughs> not only is this so-called wingtip here not from washing machine Charlie's plane, this isn't even from a Japanese plane. This whole thing's a complete and another hoax. Read the stenciling on this thing. Uh, uh, property of U.S. 